Emmanuel Macron is the most to blame on the European Union side for the failure to reach a Brexit trade deal, according to a poll of Express. Readers voted in our poll on who they most blame in Brussels as the UK heads towards no deal. The poll asked, who do you most blame in the EU for the failure to negotiate a trade deal? A huge 60% said the French president, while the EU's chief negotiator Michel Barnier was second with 20%. Some 7% blame German Chancellor Angela Merkel the most, while 3% opted for European Commission President Ursula von der Leyen. 9% said other and 1% said they did not know. Commenting on the poll, one reader fumed, all of the above. Another blasted, I blamed a lot of them, they are all jumped up, failed politicians with one aim, to make the UK suffer because the UK saw through them and had the temerity to leave their dream of empire. One would be forgiven for thinking the EU itself was formed to show Britain they were superior, but have failed to do so. A third wrote, I said Merkel, because everyone knows the buck stops at the top, Merkel runs the EU, nothing happens without her say so, hence why I said Merkel. Another commented, Macron's at the top of my list and I'd like to give him a wholehearted thank you for helping us to achieve a no deal which seems to be days away. Keep up the good work Macron, the French fisherman will remember you forever. A fifth insisted, blame solves nothing. Just walk away now and get on with running our country, free from Brussels' interference. Another said, the whole sorry lot of them. One more added, I don't blame any of them, in fact, I am extremely grateful to all of them for helping create a no-deal exit. Bravo. Our poll comes as Boris Johnson has warned no deal is very, very likely. The Prime Minister admitted the two sides are deadlocked over fisheries and the so-called level playing field, but added that he was hopeful there could be a breakthrough. Speaking during a visit to Blyth in Northumberland, Mr. Johnson said, Unfortunately at the moment, as you know, there are two key things where we just can't seem to make progress. And that's this kind of ratchet clause they've got in to keep the UK locked in to whatever they want to do in terms of legislation, which obviously doesn't work. 